Accountability. Who are you accountable to? You want to make changes in your life. There's significant things you want to do. You know that you can do. You need to make the best use of your time. Who are you accountable to? Some people, accountability is not a big deal. They decide that they're going to do something, and they just go ahead and do it. But for most people, especially when they first transition from working for somebody else, an employee, to working for themselves, an entrepreneur or a small business owner, things change rapidly. Now, who are they accountable to? When I first left the corporate world and went to work for myself, uh, accountability wasn't a problem for me. I had employees. They respected me to show up. They needed to be paid. I had a family waiting on me uh, to bring money home. Um, and I was accountable enough or desperate enough or fearful enough that accountability wasn't a problem. Later in years, um, later, <laughs> later in years, years later, <laughs> Um, when I had come back from my, uh, my early retirement, um, I was working just completely by myself. I didn't want a corporate office. I didn't want to be tied to a location. I had uh, just myself. Uh, my family situation was changed. Everything was changed, and now it was hard to be accountable. Um, days could slip by, weeks really, when nobody would know or not know if I did anything. I was getting all my business by referral, and yet... I wasn't doing the necessary work to build that pool back up again, to get that waiting list uh, as long as it should have been. I wasn't accountable to anybody but myself. And myself um, was slippery. You know, it was easy just to, with no one being watching me, no one being around, just to not take action as I should have. So I went out and found an accountability partner. I found someone else similar to myself as far as what their goals were similar to myself as far as the techniques they were going after these goals, but not the exact same product or service. Um, they might not want to be my accountability partner. And we started talking every single week. Um, and that helped. It helped a lot. Um, now, as time went on, I actually have a couple different, well, I have three accountability partners right now for various aspects of my business. So we talk uh, every single week. Just short periods of time, just to stay in touch with each other and make each other accountable. I was reading recently about a uh, couple of high-end business executives. This is in the past now, I already worked for them. And they left their cameras on, on their computers, all day long, 24 hours a day, hooked up so that they were seeing each other. So that they were always in the presence of someone else when it was time to take action. That's really intriguing to me. You can go onto YouTube and you can just get videos of people studying or working or writing. They just play. Real live humans record themselves. And the studies about the effectiveness on that, on increasing your results, fascinating. It makes a big difference. Anyway, for today, accountability partners. One of the big things about hiring a coach, especially hiring a coach, you're going to something significant, is you have someone that will help you set reasonable goals and will hold you accountable to them and when you have trouble getting there will help you figure out why and you'll solve it together. It's one of the primary things that a great coach does for you. Jack Bergstrom, coach, speaker, author, the upcoming book, Mastering the Art of Business by Referral. Just talk a bit about accountability. Don't have all the answers, but I'm starting to get some interesting questions. Wishing you a great rest of your day.